Hi, let's learn how to have landscape and portrait slides in the same presentation. Let us go to slideshow. This is a very basic presentation about presentationprocess.com. I just took some screenshots. This is our website. This is our YouTube channel. And then I created a slide where I want the audience to know an ideal way to engage with our site and channel. Now, this will be a flowchart. Now, flowcharts are vertical in nature. So if I create my flowchart in a landscape mode, it may not be clearly visible. So when I click on this, it takes me to this portrait slide. I then take them through the various steps in the flowchart. Now, the flowchart doesn't end here. We can go to the next slide by clicking and with push transition, I show the remaining part of the flowchart. Can you see it is a really long flowchart. It doesn't work with the landscape orientation. Now, once I'm done explaining the flowchart, I can click on this last step and that takes me to the next slide in the earlier presentation. If you see, the previous slide is this. I have ensured that I return to the next slide and then I carry on my rest of the presentation like this. So how do we do that? How do we combine the landscape and portrait slides in the same presentation? The usual methods don't work. For example, here I am in the presentation in the landscape mode. If I go to design and say slide size and change it to custom slide size and go to portrait and say OK. But if I say say ensure fit, you can see that the entire presentation is now made into portrait mode. So this doesn't really work. What I did is I created two presentations. The first presentation has slides which are all in the landscape mode. And the second presentation is this one called flowchart. And this has slides in the vertical mode or the portrait mode. And I ensured that both the presentations are placed inside one folder. And this is a very important step. Whenever you copy this presentation onto some other laptop for presentation, make sure that you copy the entire folder which has these two presentations together. Now let me show you how we can link these in such a way that we are able to go precisely to the slide we want and deliver the presentation like a pro. Let me go to the landscape presentation. This is the slide where I want to have the link. Now let me delete this so I can show you how to do it afresh. Let us go to home. I have taken this arrow shape and then let us press Ctrl K shortcut which is the shortcut for link. Usually it takes you to existing file or web page. You then go to current folder. Remember we have got both the presentations in the same folder and in this case the name of the folder is presentation process presentation. Then let us go to flowchart. When I click on this, it will naturally take me to the first slide of the presentation. If I want to go to a specific slide inside the presentation, then I need to go to the bookmark option. If I want to go to slide number two, I can click here. If I want to go to slide one, I can click here. I can say OK and then say OK. Let me go to slideshow and show you how it is done. On a click, you can see that immediately it takes me to the first slide of that presentation. Now, how did I link this back to a specific slide from this one? Let me hit escape. Let me go to this presentation. You can see that we have two slides here. On the second slide, I chose a shape. You can actually have a separate shape as well. For the demonstration, we can take a separate shape here. So select this, press Ctrl K as we did earlier. Go to the first presentation, which is in the landscape mode, and then go to bookmark and choose your slide. Let us say I want to go to our templates slide. I can say OK and say OK. Now let us go to this slide. Go to slideshow. Remember we are showing this as part of the earlier presentation. On a click we go to the next slide. Now I'm going to click on this shape and that will take me to the previous presentation but it will take me to a specific slide called our templates as we decided. Now the thing is only you know that these are two different presentations, but your audience will have no clue about how you combined this landscape and portrait modes in the same presentation. If you liked this tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial that we created called PowerPoint for Beginners Step-by-Step -step Tutorial to get started. It has more than 1.3 million views, 23,000 likes and hundreds of comments. So click on the link, go to this video and watch it which is just a 20 minute video and learn all about PowerPoint basics. I'll see you inside that video.